years of studying, I thought we'd have more contact with patients, didn't you? Hi, I'm Patch. You've just experienced a North American greeting, whereby one person offers a verbal label to another as an expression of welcome and friendship. Lesbian, mm -hmm. ball buster, airhead, leech, whichever one of these disgusts you the most, take your pick. I'll... Please, pass the word. I'm not here to date. I am not here to flirt. I'm here to study. Oh, thank you. I thought only I could repel women with that kind of raw efficiency. Well, you just met your match. Patch Adams. Truman Schiff. Nice to meet you, Truman. Will you go out with me? Can I ask you one question? What? Did you buy everything the dean was saying today? What do you mean? I mean, that whole drill sergeant thing. Like, we're going to make doctors out of you medical scum. Now drop down, give me 20. Hmm? Mm-hmm. That whole Marine thing? We're not even going to see a patient until the third year. Up until then, it's just memorizing facts. Why don't you just shove the Canberra? book up? Right here on the colon. That's where it's going anyway. <laughs> Thanks very much. So why do you want to be a doctor? I want to help. I want to connect with people. A doctor interacts with people at their most vulnerable. He offers treatment, but he also offers counsel and hope. That's why I love the idea of being a doctor. I've always been fascinated by the development of the human mind. Ah, uh, pumping neurons. We start out so open and spontaneous. We're real individuals, and then somewhere along the way, we we're drawn to conform. It's as if we're conditioned by programmed responses. Well, that's true. But sometimes you can alter the program response just by changing some of the conditions, altering the parameters. Let me show you. We'll call it the hello experiment. The goal will be to break through program response by changing normal parameters and getting a new emotional response from the person. Ready to enter data. Hello. Hi. I don't get it. Hi is a programmed response. I reached her. You scared her. No. Wait. Wait for it. <laughs> oh, you nuts. A smile. Ten seconds. Victory. There's more. Come, my friend. Howdy. Hi. See, response time is diminishing. Yesterday, I made 12 random phone calls. I talked to one man named Dale for three hours. He told me amazing things, Truman. What does this all prove, other than you're out of your mind? Truman, what's the difference between a doctor and a scientist? And don't say salary. People. Hmm? We want to become doctors because we want to help people. I want to be a pediatrician. OK, little people. The point is, if you want to become a doctor, we have to learn to treat the patient as well as the disease. That's why we have to dive into people, wade into the sea of humanity, Truman. Forum seven, right upstairs on your left. You guys at the Meat Packers Convention? Yes, sir. Right up the stairs. Hey, right forum seven. Does a chicken have lips? You'll find out upstairs. Come on, let's go. Boy. Like a bulldog on a pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> They found a whole new use for sheep. What's that? Wool. You kill me. You kill me. I love you. Oh, Daddy. And you, I bet you heard that, dude. Come here. Heard it. Heard it. That's a goat joke. Rump rappers, bull shippers. <laughs> Lend me your steer. <laughs> you know, we Packers yeah. have been taking a bad rap for years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because we all want to be the best damn Packers there are. Yeah. Because I'm proud of my meat. Yeah. And I know you're proud of your meat. Yeah. Whip it, zip it, and send it out. Yeah. You know, some people say chicken. Oh. Some people
Bible say fit? No. I say now is the time for cow. Yeah. Eat cow. What is it? What's the difference between a first year and a third year medical student? 